All right, we're going to go ahead. Sorry, this is horribly this time. <laughs> we're going to get started with uh, standing on our mats today. So go ahead and just find a comfortable spot on that mat. And you can kind of wiggle those toes around, maybe move the feet up and down. You want to kind of go back and forth. Or roll, kind of roll those knees around, kind of get a little massage on those feet. And then let the legs come into stillness. We'll let the hands fall by the sides and close the eyes. Start to focus on the breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. Feeling the inhale move all throughout the body. And then feeling that breath leave the body with each exhale. Take these next few minutes to start to let the day go. Bring yourself into the room and onto your mats. Since I also start to get comfortable with the breath. more deep inhales and exhales here. And if we want to slowly start to open the eyes or we can keep them closed, whatever is comfortable. We'll inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms out, bring the arms back down by the side. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, the arms. Inhale, up. Exhaling down. And inhale up. Exhale down. This time we'll inhale the arms up, leaving them up. And as we do our next exhale, twisting to that left, bringing the arms down, and then kind of letting them wrap around the body, giving ourselves a little hug. <clears throat> If it's comfortable on the neck, you can bring the gaze over that back shoulder or just off to the side. Take those few deep inhales and exhales here. On the next inhale, we'll start to bring the arms back up, facing forward. As we exhale, bringing the arms down, twisting to the opposite side, letting those arms come down, giving ourselves that little hug. Again, the gaze can go over that back shoulder if it's comfortable on the neck. Or just leaving that gaze off to the side. Taking those deep inhales and exhales. On our next inhale, bring those arms back up, facing forward. Exhale, dropping that left arm down, folding over that left side. 
Feeling that stretch all the way down the right side body. Trying to keep even weight in both of those feet. If you feel like you're starting to tilt over in that left foot, just start to shift up a little bit. If it's comfortable, you can open the gaze up towards the ceiling, opening that chest, or just standing over the side. On the next inhale, bringing our arm back up. As we exhale, dropping that right arm down, folding over that right side. Again, trying to keep that even way between those two feet. And on that next inhale, coming back up, bringing that arm up. Exhale, dropping those arms down, bringing them around behind the back. Clasping the hands behind the back, and then just opening those shoulders, bringing the gaze up if that's comfortable on the neck. And continue that. I'm going to clasp the one hand really quick. Taking a few more breaths here. And we'll slowly start to bring those shoulders forward, bringing the head back out, releasing those hands. We'll take a step back to the back side of our mats today. And we'll take an inhale, bringing the arms up. And we'll swan, riding ourselves forward over those legs with a bend in those knees. Inhale, coming halfway, sliding the hands right under those knees. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, bring your arms down. Inhale, swan back. Exhale, swan riding forward. A little bit of bend in those knees. Coming halfway, sliding the hands right under the knees. Exhaling down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale the arms down. Inhale arms up. Exhale swan riding forward. Inhale half lift. Exhale fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale the arms down. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, swan riding forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. This time as we inhale, we're going to walk the hands to the front of our mat, coming into that high plank. We're dropping down onto those knees. Exhale, coming all the way down onto the mat. Inhale, just lifting that chest. Exhale, down. Inhale, push back to a down dog to go through all fours here. Taking our breath in our down dog. On our next inhale, we're going to walk our hands back to our feet, putting a little bit of a bend in those knees. And as we inhale, come all the way up, bring those arms, exhaling down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan back forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, walk those hands out to that high plank or onto those knees. Exhaling down. Inhale, just lifting that shoulder. Exhale down. Inhale, push back to that down dog. Taking that breath here. On that next inhale, walk those hands back to those feet. Holding over those legs. And inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, the arms down. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, swing way forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walking those hands out to that high plank or onto those knees. Exhaling all the way down. Inhale, just lift your back up. Exhale down. Inhale, push back to down dog. We take that breath. On that next inhale, walk those hands back to those feet, folding over those legs, and inhaling all the way up. Exhale, the arms down. We'll release the hands down by the sides, close the eyes, and take a deep inhale. Exhaling it all. We'll open the eyes back up. We're going to take the right leg and step it forward into a high lunge. So we can take a couple steps here to get all the way to our lunge. We don't have to step it all the way out. Adjust those feet so they're on those railroad tracks. So you don't want the toes right behind that heel. You want them parallel with each other, making sure that knee is right over that ankle. We'll take the hands, place them on the hips. Make sure we're nice and steady with those hips facing forward. Then we'll take the hands, you can place them behind the back, kind of stacking the hands so they're on top of each other, or you can take the knuckles and kind of put yourself a fist bump behind you on the uh, lower back. <clears throat> we'll take a breath here. And then if we want to slowly add that back bend in, opening that heart up, we can bring the gaze up towards the ceiling and slowly start to shift that upper body back, engaging that core, hoping to take a little bit of strain off that lower back. If the back bend is not comfortable, we can just stay straight up and down. Deep breaths here. Taking one more breath. And if we're in that back bend, slowly bringing ourselves back forward. We'll release the hands from behind the back. You can place them on the hips. Slowly rotate that back foot. So it's parallel with the mat. Then we can kind of step it or step the other foot. So our heel is now about in line with the middle of that back foot. We <laughs> shift those hips so they're around facing now in front of us. And when we feel steady, we're going to bend in that front knee. Taking arms out to the sides. Slowly rotate that front palm so it's facing the ceiling. And as we exhale, start to shift ourselves back. That left hand placing right on that outside of that side. Again, the gaze going up towards the ceiling. Taking a big inhale and exhale. And 
we'll slowly start to bring ourselves back up, releasing those hands down, coming forward or two. So those hands are going to be nice and parallel with the legs. Trying to keep that back arm nice and up. If you start to feel it shift down, just kind of bring it up and then shrug those shoulders down off the back. Gaze like hold without front middle finger. more breaths here. And then slowly release those hands down. We're going to do one more with that knee bend. So if you want to straighten that leg for just a second, let that leg get a little bit of a relax right here. And then go ahead and put that bend back in that knee. We'll bring those arms back out. And then put a bend in that front elbow. And as we exhale, start to shift ourselves forward over that front leg, lightly placing the elbow on that thigh, back arm coming up and overhead at an angle. The gaze can be down at the foot, over at the sidewall, or up at the ceiling. Trying to keep the length in the back. So we feel ourselves start to arch down forward. Just try to come up a little bit. Oh, you can come up. We'll take one more breath. And on that next inhale, bringing ourselves back up to that warrior two. And we'll release the hands down to the hips. Straighten that front leg. Rotate that front foot so it's also parallel with the mat. Kind of line up those toes so they're about in line with each other. And then slowly start to just shift those toes out. So they're kind of facing the corners of our mats. <clears throat> we'll take an inhale. As we exhale, start to bend those knees, coming down into those heels. And then we'll slowly bring those hands up to the sides, palms wide, or those hands out wide, fingers spread apart. Those arms coming straight out from those shoulders. That weight's going to be back in those heels. A few more breaths here. And on that next inhale, popping those legs straight, straightening those arms up out to the side. Sorry, up ahead, up above, kind of at an angle. We're like a big star here. And then as we exhale, folding over those legs. If it's more comfortable to kind of shift those feet in instead of having those toes plan out, feel free to shift those toes in. Let that head hang. Go ahead and do some circles. Maybe shake it yes, shake it no. And then let it hang. And take a couple more breaths here. And we'll take those hands, if they're on the floor, placing them right under the face, straightening those elbows, and slowly walking the hands over to that front foot, shifting those toes around. So you're up on those back toes into that high lunge position here, and then we'll drop onto those knees, or that back knee, untuck those toes, 
And then take those hands, placing them on that front side, coming up. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before, but if it's uncomfortable on the knee, you can add it up a little bit by pulling that mat, placing it right under that knee, and that'll give you a little extra padding under that knee. So we'll take the hands here, we'll inhale, bring them up. As we exhale, bringing the palms together and then coming behind the head. We're just kind of giving that head a little bit of a rest into those hands. And again, if we want to add the back bend to this pose, we'll slowly start to bring that gaze up, shifting that upper body back, engaging that core, helping to take that strain off that lower back. Or we can just stay straight up and down. Whatever's comfortable. Two more backs here. And slowly starting to shift ourselves forward if they're in that back bend. We'll release the hands coming up. As we exhale, folding over that front leg, placing those hands on the mat. We'll tuck those toes up, bring that leg up, <clears throat> step that front foot back into a down dog. And let's go ahead and come down onto the knees. Take those knees out wide on the mat, untucking those toes. Shift those hips over the heels, wrapping the forehead to the mat. And taking those deep breaths. Give those arms need a little bit of a rest. You can take them and take them down alongside the leg. More breaths here. Using this challenge to lose the tuck our breath if we lost it. Or to bring ourselves back to the breath to start to recognize it once again. On that next inhale, we'll come up onto all fours. And tuck those toes behind us. And slowly start to push those hips up towards the sky, coming into a down dog. And take a couple breaths here. So feel free to pedal those feet out. Lifting one heel, dropping the other. And let those legs come into stillness. Maybe take a second here to notice the difference between the legs. Maybe that right leg is pretty loose right now. Maybe a little fatigued. Maybe that left leg feels a lot more energized. We'll go ahead and start to use it. On our next inhale, we'll lift that left leg up. As we exhale, sweep it forward between the thumbs. We'll take a second here to adjust that foot, toe feeling it over to the side just a little bit so we're on those railroad tracks. Take the hands, place them on that thigh, giving ourselves a little assist up. Again, if you need to adjust those feet while we're standing, take those hands, place them on the hips, making sure they're nice and even with each other and facing forward. And then we'll take those hands, place them behind the back on that lower back, either stacking the hands 
And if we're in that back bend, slowly starting to shift ourselves back forward. We'll release those hands, placing them onto those hips. Slowly rotating that back foot. So it's also parallel with that mat. And adjusting that front foot so it's about in line with the middle of that back foot. Those hands on those hips, making sure they're now facing over to the side. And then slowly putting that bend in that front knee. And taking those arms out to the sides. And rotating that front palm so it faces towards the ceiling. And as we exhale, shifting yourself back. Knees going up towards the sky. Taking those deep inhales and exhales. Take more breaths. And slowly start to bring ourselves back up, bringing those arms out. Holding that warrior two. Again, keeping those arms parallel with those legs. So we start to feel that back arm shift down. Just slowly start to lift it back up, rolling those shoulders down the back. Gaze over that front little finger. And we'll slowly release those arms down to the hips. Go ahead and straighten that front leg. Give it a little bit of a second for a little bit of break. You need to kind of give it a little wiggle. And then we'll slowly put that bend back into that knee. Bring those arms back out. And we'll put a bend in that front arm and shift over that front leg, lightly placing that elbow onto the thigh. Back arm coming up and overhead at that angle. Gaze can be up at the ceiling, down at that foot, or over at that side wall. And keeping that nice length in the back. for a few more breaths. And on that next inhale, bring yourselves back up to that warrior two. And then releasing those hands down to the hip, straightening that front leg, rotating it so it's also parallel with the mat, and taking that second to line up those toes. And then slowly shift those toes so they're pointed off at that angle with those corners of the mat. <clears throat> Take an inhale. And as we exhale, slowly start to bend those knees, that weight going into those heels, taking those arms out to the sides, coming straight up on those shoulders, hands are nice and wide. 
tucking those tailbones. Taking those deep breaths. Taking some more breaths here. And on that next inhale, popping ourselves back up, bringing those arms up, fingertips wide at the top, taking a couple breaths here. And on that next exhale, folding over those legs. Again, if we want to shift those toes a little bit so they're facing parallel with the mat, and then just let that head hang. We want to do some more head circles. So shake the head, yes or no. And then letting it just hang. Taking a few more breaths here. And we'll take the hands, place them right on the floor, right under that face, straightening those elbows, walking those feet to the front of the mat, support that left leg. Put in that long lunge here. So taking a second here to kind of toe heel that foot a little to the left. And then if we want to pad up that mat, we can roll that side here, dropping that back knee down. Untucking that foot, taking the hands, placing them on the thigh, bringing ourselves back up. And we'll inhale those arms up, bringing those palms together, and then slowly sliding those hands behind the head, giving ourselves that little nestle in the back of the head. So we can stay right here, or we can add that back bend by bringing that gaze up to the sky and slowly shifting that upper body back. Again, engaging that core. Taking those deep breaths. And if we're in that back bend, we'll slowly bring our toes back up. Exhale those arms back up towards the sky. And as we next exhale, come over that front leg, tucking those back toes, popping up off that knee, and then stepping that front foot back into a down dog. If we want to shake that left leg out, we can shake it out and shake that right leg out. Place that foot back on the mat. Take a couple breaths here. On our next inhale, we're going to shift ourselves forward into that high plank so we can drop onto the knees. As we exhale, coming all the way onto our mats, untucking those toes, and then release those hands down by the sides, turning that face so one cheek is on the mat. We'll take a couple breaths here.
And using this moment to try to catch the breath if you've lost it. And trying to refocus back on it. We'll slowly take the hands, placing them right under those shoulders. As we inhale, we're going to start to lift ourselves up, bringing that forehead forward or that head forward, and then just dropping those elbows right to where those hands were. So they're right under those shoulders. We can also kind of take a hold of the outside of those elbows with each of the hands, and that kind of gets those arms so they're right lined up with under those shoulders. So we have a hold of the hands, we'll kind of rotate those arms out, placing those hands right down on the mat, those forearms right down on the mat, bringing that gaze forward. So we're engaging that core to help take a little bit of the strain off the lower back here, because we are in a little bit of a back bend. Putting a little bit of pressure into the tops of the feet, so those knees kind of pop up off of the mat, Trying to relax the legs and the lower back. Taking a few deep breaths here. Letting that gaze go forward. And then we'll release those feet down and slowly start to bring ourselves back down onto our mat, changing the direction of the face so the opposite cheek is down off the mat, bringing those arms again down by the side. Taking those deep breaths here. We'll take those hands, place them right under the shoulders. This time, as we inhale, we're going to start to inhale, bringing yourself into that little back bend that we did in the very beginning, but putting a little bit of weight into those hands. So we're coming up, hugging those elbows in. Those feet should be flexed back behind us, gaze in front of us. Again, engaging that abs, the abs, the core area. And as we exhale, coming back down, turning that face the opposite cheek and relaxing those hands again down by the side. And we'll do one more a little back bend down here. We'll take a couple more breaths. On our next inhale, instead of bringing the hands under the shoulders, we're going to keep them back down by the hips, but lifting them off of the mat. So as we inhale, we're going to start to lift the chest up, bringing that gaze forward, lifting those shoulders, bringing those arms up, bringing those feet up off the mat. So just that kind of hip core area is on the mat here. Taking a couple breaths. And exhale it down, turning that face, letting those arms rest. And we'll take those hands, placing them under those shoulders, and push ourselves back to a child's pose. So sinking those hips over the heels, forehead to the mat. Taking those deep inhales and exhales. On 
from that main little room and I'll pull into all fours. Take a second to line those wrists up right under those shoulders, knees are right under those hips, feet tops are flat on the floor. As we inhale, we're gonna drop the belly down, bring that gaze up. As you exhale, roll that spine up, tuck that chin to your chest. Inhale, dropping that belly down, gaze going up. Exhale, rolling that spine. Inhale, dropping down, gaze going up. Exhale, roll that spine. Inhale, dropping down. And exhale, rolling up. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, dropping that belly down. Exhale, roll that spine up. On the next inhale, come with it to a neutral spine. And then go ahead and make your way to have a seat onto your mat. We'll take those feet out wide and yeah, wide in front of us. <laughs> <clears throat> Take a second to kind of rock a little bit so you're up on those sit bones. And the feet don't have to be too wide. If it's not comfortable, they can just kind of be, you know, wherever they are. And we'll inhale those arms up. And as we exhale, fold forward. We can either drop between the leg or take the arms out to the sides, taking hold of those feet, whatever's comfortable. Trying to keep a nice long back here. So if you feel that you're starting to round that upper back down, just start to come up out of the pose a little bit. You can always have a bend in those knees. Taking those deep breaths here. We'll take those hands, place them on the floor, and slowly start to walk ourselves back up. We'll take the feet, bringing them in together in front of those hips. And again, kind of rock side to side, so we're up on those sit bones. And as we inhale here, we can exhale, folding over those legs. Again, keeping that length in the back. So if you still feel that rounding down, just starting to come out of the pose. Letting those knees come down to the floor at their own pace. So I'm just breathing into those legs and those hips. And take those hands, place them on the floor. Slowly start to push ourselves back up. We'll take a hold of those knees. Kind of give them a little bit of a help up. And then we'll make our way all the way down onto our mat. Taking a moment here to feel the mat supporting that lower back. If we were doing those back bends, it might just be a little tired right here. Just take a moment. Then we'll slowly take that left leg, placing it down onto the mat, keeping the right foot up on the mat. And we'll bring that right knee into that chest. If we can't start to straighten that leg, 
and take a hold of that foot. If we're not able to grab the foot, we can grab the back of that thigh kind of area. Just want to be a little bit more careful if we're behind the knee. And we'll start to try, try to bring that knee into that right armpit. So it's almost like you're doing a lunge on the ceiling. So that right foot's flat, those back or left toes are flexed. We can take the left hand, place it on the left thigh. That kind of helps keep that leg down. And you should feel a stretch in that right hip for you, just like we're doing that. And we'll slowly release that foot, letting that leg come all the way down onto the mat. We're kind of relaxing the muscles and give that leg a little bit of a shake. And then take both feet, place them on the mat one more time. And feeling that mat support your whole back. And then we'll relax that right leg down onto the mat. Bring that left knee into the chest. Straighten that leg. Again, we can take a hold of behind the leg, that hamstring area. Be careful if we're behind that knee. We're going to reach up and grab that foot and pull that knee into that left armpit area. Again, that right leg is flexed, so those toes are pointing up towards the sky. That left foot is flat, flexed backwards, so it's almost like we're doing that lunge on that ceiling. Taking the right hand, placing it onto that right thigh, just making sure that leg stays down. Feeling that stretch all in that left inner thigh area, or inner hip area, sorry. And we'll slowly release that foot down to the mat, bringing the leg all the way down. Give that leg a wiggle. And we'll take both feet again, placing them onto the mat. Take those arms out wide like a T. And we'll take the feet, just kind of walk them just over to that right side, just a little bit, and then shift those hips over. Bring those knees into the chest and then slowly let those knees fall to that left side. And we'll slowly start to bring that right leg up, follow it by that left leg, placing both feet down onto the mat, slowly shifting over to that left side, bringing those hips over, bringing those knees into the chest, and then letting them fall to that right side.
Bring both knees into the chest. Just take a hold of the legs and slowly rock side to side. And release those legs down on the mat. And we'll do one. Final full body stretch. So bring those arms up overhead. Stretch those arms up. Stretch those legs down. Full body stretch, just like we're getting up in the morning. And then let it all fall down onto the mat. Let those legs fall wherever's comfortable. So bring the arms down by the side. If that lower back needs a little bit more support, you can take the feet, placing them on the wide edges of the mat, and then knock those knees in together. Starting to breathe, focus on the breath. Taking a deep inhale for next. Feeling ourselves sink deeper and deeper into our mats with each breath. And to let all the tension in the body and the stresses in the mind go with each exhale. Taking these next few minutes to just be with yourself, to focus on yourself, to not have anything to worry about. Maybe you can be one of the few minutes you might have to yourself all day. Take advantage of that. If you feel the mind start to wander, just start to bring it back by refocusing on that breath. Take these next few minutes to just be.
start to bring a little life back into your body by wiggling your feet and wiggling your toes. Start to roll your wrists and ankles. Drop your head from side to side. Begin to deepen your inhale for an exhale. When you feel ready, take one foot, place it on the mat, and follow it by the other foot. Slowly bring one knee into the chest, followed by the other, taking up both the legs, and slowly rocking side to side. When you feel ready, roll onto your right side. With your right side grounded by the earth, leaving your left side open to the sun and the moon and the stars and all the gifts the universe has to offer you today. When you feel ready, come up to a comfortable seated position. Take the hands, place them in front of the heart, close the eyes one last time. Take a deep inhale. Exhale it all out. Thank you for sharing your practice with me this evening. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Namaste. Thanks, everyone.